Hey and welcome to another tutorial. Today I will show you how to create this BMW M badge logo inside Microsoft PowerPoint. And it should be fairly easy. It should be also possible to um, do this tutorial inside Microsoft Word. I'm using PowerPoint because it has the it has the tool to sample the colors. It has the eyedropper tool. So and I will be sampling a lot of colors from the original image. So I don't have to use the external tool when I'm using you know Microsoft Word. So enough talking, let's get started. The bottom one is the picture download from the internet. The top one is actually the logo created inside PowerPoint. So I will start in the blank slide. I already have this uh, image pasted in. So I will zoom in as much as I can in this small window so I can see the entire M letter because you know the M letter will be probably the most complicated part. So I will start with this one. I will start with the M letter and I will insert a new shape being this free form shape. And I will try to trace the outline of the M letter as closely as I can. And in here I will trace the outer part. Okay, so like this. It's taking me a long time. I will try to do this as much as you know as fast as I can, but obviously I want to be at least a little bit of, of precise when you know clicking on those points. I'm just clicking on those points and when I get to the first point the shape should be closed and you know I have the M letter. I will most likely move it you know up on top like this. I will right click select the format shape and of course what I want to do is I want to have some kind of bevel and of course some kind of uh, gray color. So for the line I will set no line. For the color I will sample so I'll open the eyedropper tool any kind of gray color from in here and I want to get those you know as you can see those uh, big uh, 3D uh, bevels in, in the those three areas. So in the effects I will open the free rotation properties and I will select the preset for the front perspective and the important part here is to set the bevel. So I will set the bevel to maybe this round one and raise the height all the way up to I don't know maybe like 17 points or so. And I will also increase the height a little bit. I want the, those bevels to have as much contrast as possible. So I will change the material to the most reflective one, which is the metal. And the lightning uh, should be in a way that the light goes from left side. So zero is about fine, but I guess I will rotate it all the way around the circle to really have it from the left side. So maybe like this, maybe 300 degrees, it goes all the way from the left side. So this is just one part of the M letter. As you can see down here, you know, the bevel is only inside those gaps. You know, everywhere else, the bevel is much smaller. So what I will do now is I will trace the letter M one more time, but this time I will trace the inner part of the letter. So I will again zoom in as much as I can and I will do the very same thing. I will insert a new shape being the this custom, the freeform shape. And I will try to trace the letter, but this time I will trace it around the inner edge, like this. So in here also the inner edge should be traced, like this. And one more time here, the inner edge of the 3D extrusion should be traced. Okay, so just around, just like this. Then I will move this over the previous shape and suddenly you can see that we are getting this 3D kind of extrusion as uh, the same as same way as the logo below. I will probably double click the ribbon just so I can see both shapes at the same time. I will set the line to no line and for the fill I will select the gradient fill and I will just probably either upper, use either upper tool to uh, sample all those colors. So going from dark gray to a lighter gray color almost like white then there is this darker gray color or the middle gray color, a little bit lighter gray down here, and it ends with a darker color down here. Okay, so I'm pretty satisfied with the result. Seems like there is a little bit of outline, so maybe I will open the selection pane, select the, the bottom shape, and maybe add a line, so solid line in like a dark gray color. I don't know, maybe the width could be a little bit bigger, like this. I kind of like it. As you can see there is still a little bit more contrast in the original logo. So what I can do is I can select the um, you know bottom shape and I can change the fill to just some darker color. Maybe this one. Maybe even darker like almost almost black one. Okay. This uh, this looks much closer to the original. I believe that for my uh, previous picture I've also added the 3D bevel to this shape to this top shape. I can quickly try to do it. I can add a new 
barrel shape like this slant one but I will make it of course much smaller so I will make it maybe like three points and only one point as for the height and of course I have to adjust the lighting to be somehow similar going from the left side so three, 310 or 300 degrees and that looks much better you know when I've added this uh, free effect all the colors are suddenly a little bit lighter so I have to manually adjust those colors you know make them just a little bit more darker so I, I will quickly do this just a little bit of darker colors so just so it matching the picture below more closely no no new stop just just changing the colors okay so I'm pretty satisfied with the result as for the emblem goes and that's that's probably the most complicated part you know everything else is fairly easy so I will continue with all the other shapes and all the other shapes are really the same and they are using the parallelogram so I will insert new shapes being this parallelogram if I can spell this correctly I will just trace one shape I will flip this actually not flip this while I'm flicking this I have to adjust the yellow handle to have the same size and I will duplicate it few more times so I need blue lighter blue dark blue red strip I need one more for the gray one and there is a little bit of blue in here so I will move all those to the bottom and move everything over our original logo like this and below those two shapes okay so this will be this will be like light blue color this will be blue and this will be red just to make sure that we know what we are changing actually before we actually sample the colors from the from the image below I believe that this uh, gradient should be still remembered so if I select this sm small shape in here which is maybe this one and change to gradient fill it should get the you no know, same gradient as the M letter which is what I want then I will select this one I will resize this a little bit more just so I have some space set the gradient fill and I will sample the colors from the image below so the first step should be this of course this normal red the second step is a lighter red color then we have again the, like a normal red in the middle a little bit darker on the bottom and it ends up with the same probably the same color as the beginning or a little bit darker one and I will use the very same technique for setting the gradient fills for all those shapes so again just eye wrapping all the colors using around I don't know four or five different gradient steps to simulate the gradient used for the for the logo itself I could probably use a little bit less gradient steps not five but maybe or only four but they're just fine you know it as you can see it only takes a little bit of time to sample all those colors so this is the last shape and I will sample the light blue color from the from the image below And that's exactly what I'm using PowerPoint this time and not Word because Word doesn't have the power uh, the eyedropper tool and while I can use the external tool like the color cup or an error tool it just takes more time okay so this very small shape on the left side which I believe is this one seems to be like a solid color so I will sample the this blue solid color not for the line but for the fill so this blue color on the left side for all those three shapes I will make sure that the line is set to no line and the only missing piece is probably this like inner drop shadow in in this shape and I believe I can simulate it by having one you know duplicating this shape and having a gradient in here so I will duplicate this shape change the gradient going from black to black but one of the black stops will be transparent so for one of those the transparency will be set to 100% then I will set the angle to kind of match the all the other shapes which is 210 move those stops closer to each other and move everything down below all the other shapes like this and I believe that if I close everything so you can see everything 
I have almost the same logo as, as down below. So this is how you create the BMW. Actually, there is still something wrong. So I will open the selection pane and it seems like some of those shapes still have the outline. So I'll just make sure that the line is set to no line for all those shapes. Okay, no line for all those shapes. Only this M letter has the outline. Okay, so this is how you create the BMW M badge inside PowerPoint. Thanks for watching.